so now now what you want to do is that uh, in the desktop you can see that lsim server so two softwares are there lsim server edition is there client edition is there okay so you need to launch okay server server in one system and client in other two systems so here in the system one i am launching server it is written as lsim server so open lsim server first okay then it will ask you this network select lan okay network is lan and the speed is 100 mbps default option click okay all right so server is launched so in the top it is written as server okay so this is the setup once server is launched now go to the second system okay go to the second system you need to launch lsim client here so launch client here once client is launched all right go to third system launch client so third and second system you need to launch lsim all right launch this server once again land start up or i'm going to do stop and wait okay so here system 4 is showing right one ip address in the server ip address for that means third system is shown here but second system is not showing so let me check okay one second okay so the issue is that if i turn on firewall in system 2 that's what so you can see here in the first system okay one second and on client once so this is the client system select lan click okay okay so you in topology you need to select a star okay star topology because we connected a star topology and in protocol you will be having many options so i am currently i am going to do stop and wait protocol so i choose stop and wait so you will be having selective repeat go back in csms ca csms cd all these protocols are available so i am currently doing stop and wait flow control mechanism so i choose stop and wait okay so token is not available here okay now in this client uh, this is server system okay here it is written as server server you can see that system 2 and system 3 is connected those two ip address are there my current ip address is 2 okay this is server and in client you can see client in this is client one system two you can see the ip address of the server that means in this this computer is connected to server alone and this is the third system you can see server ip address so system so this is system three you can see it is connected to server this is system two you can see it is connected to server and this is the first system this is the server so server is connected to 2 and 3 okay that's why here two systems are listed okay now now you are going to transfer some data okay so you can see here in server you have the options file transfer okay file transfer is enabled here and in system 2 file transfer is enabled and system 3 file transfer is enabled okay now i am going to transfer file okay so this is system system 2 okay so system 2 you click on 
transfer file ok file transfer browse then it will open a window ok then choose one word file ok now the size is here so if I click ok then it shows that virtualization is switched to that means the number of packet is too many in this particular window we cannot show all the packets so I am going to increase the packet size ok I just increase the packet size to 4 MB and click ok now you can see that there are 26 packets so previously the each packet size is less so the number of packets will be high that's why it is not shown here I just increase the packet size so the number of packets will be less it is inversely proportional ok now I select the packet ok everything is correct now I am going to transfer it ok so where I am going to transfer this is system 2 I am going to transfer this to server ok so I just click server transfer transmission started ok so you can see that here green color yellow color in a sense so green color means acknowledge yellow color means transmitting so here one by one yellow three turns to green like this then four will be yellow then so here one two three one by one it is receiving ok so here four is receiving now five is receiving so here six is transmitting yellow color once it receives acknowledgement it turns to green like this is going on during that time I just pause it ok I just pause it ok then I choose error generator I just create an error like bad packet so bad packet in a sense it will one packet is lost ok generate ok fine now continue so what happen means you just click ok in the other system you can see that you can see that in the server system you can see a red color here so that selected packet is dropped that means 8th packet is dropped ok 8th packet is dropped and again I got 8 that means stop and wait protocol if one packet is lost it will go for a transmission until unless it won't go for any transmission so here retransmission is happened so once again 8 is transferred so you got 8 ok again 2 this is lost packet this is retransmitted packet so, so again the transmission is going on and again I am going to pause it ok go to generator I am going for acknowledgement lost ok acknowledgement lost generate ok in this system I just click ok so continue so in server you can see that acknowledgement lost is shown here in blue color so here acknowledgement lost 15 ok so whatever error you are you are generating you can see the corresponding response in the data transfer ok so you can able to generate three types of error one is bad packet one is acknowledgement error uh, then one is uh, another one ok so this is called so you need to draw this window actually exam you need to post this you need to draw this receiving window and you need to draw this transmitting window ok this is all about stop and wait protocol ok